Yeah. Dave, I know you come to talk about the finances, but um, we've got to talk about relegation first. How, hard is it, does it, how tough does it feel at the minute? It's horrible. Mm-hmm. Absolutely horrible. Um, it's just, you know, we knew, we, we knew that it was going to be tough and we knew it was going to be inevitable, but it just doesn't help, does it? It's, uh, I'm just gutted, absolutely gutted. But yeah. we move on. You do. It's not the first time you're a long time fan, so you know it's not the first time the club's I've relegated. seen quite a few, yeah. yeah. I was saying that to Fred just then, you know, he must he's seen off a few relegations, haven't you? About nine or ten, yeah, yeah. something like that, yeah. We were working it out before from there's a couple in the sixties, mm. a couple in the seventies, you know. But we move on. Yeah. Well, you mentioned it's inevi- it was inevitable, so that doesn't soften the blow at all. No, it like doesn't, that. doesn't. I mean the lads played the lads did everything. What more could you ask for? I mean I think we've got about I don't know whether he'll get anybody on the bench on Tuesday. Yeah. You know, we're down to like kids now, aren't we? Yeah. You know, so it's just it's hard to take, but we've got to take it and we've got yeah. to move on. Well, let Kevin answer all those questions. Let's look at the financial situation. So where are we now? Well, as I've been saying all day today with other media, the situation is at the moment we have got s- some very interested parties. Very interested parties. Uh, negotiations are ongoing. We've nothing concrete yet, mm. but we we'll hope to have something to tell you in about seven to ten days. Really concrete. And the nice thing about it is, or the great thing about it is, the people that are coming forward mm. are genuine Berry fans. Mm. They're not people who are wanting to put money into the club mm. for other reasons. They are genuine Berry fans who want to see the best for the club. So where are we in time scale? Because obviously everyone saw, everyone panicked and, and saw the statement last week. Then. Brian went in another media saying, oh, no, no, it's all for the future. What's, what's the more well, accurate? The situation is we've been trying to get through the season on small, short-term loans, mm. but we need something long-term. So we just said, this is no good. We're just going from one crisis to the mm. next. Look, what do we need to get us through for the next three to five mm. years? That's what we're looking. We're look- we've got to do a long-term plan because... Seriously, we've got to do some real serious mm. thinking, some real serious planning. And to do that, to get us through that, we need to have some substantial funds mm. behind us. The last thing we need to be doing is going to people, again, the PFA, for mm. instance, in three months' time, and saying, give me more another dollar of money. That's just no good at all. So, a million pounds was, was the figure we had. If we can get more than that, we'd be delighted. Mm. Any of you lads mm. fix for any money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but, hang on a minute. <laughs> so, if we can get more than that, that'd be terrific. But... A million, a million would be t- would be ideal. We can plan then for the rest for the next two to three, right. or even five years if we can. What's your minimum then, Dave? That's that's that'd be well, ideal. I, Is there a minimum? There's, there's, no, no, no. no I, I don't want to really talk specifics, mm. but you know you've got to set, you've got to go high. You said set an eye, haven't you? And, mm. and with what we've been, the people we've been talking through this last two or three days, it's been been mega. Um, Are these people you're familiar with before? Yeah, we just come yeah, out of the blue. No, uh, no, a couple have come out of the blue, but we are familiar with one or two people. Yeah. And so, again, I, I know you just answered, but the time scales, why is there a time scale? Have you, As put, I said, have you, you put pressure on them? <clears throat> well, no, it's not a pressure on them. It's, it's we've got to tell them mm. what, we, what you know, they're looking at. Well, is this, re- is this uh, plan you've got feasible? And we've, we've got to give them projections. Yeah. Uh, for next season, because we we'll lose money again next season mm. from the TV. solidarity yeah. and the distribution yeah. money, yeah. so that's another reduction. Um, so we've got to do a plan and we've got to do a budget mm. for next season, based on what we think we can afford in, in, in wages, etc. And we're just trying to look at everything at the moment. Yeah, and you've said these potential investors they'll get their money back. You were saying, is that no? Uh, well, that, well, that smile tells me maybe not then. <laughs> They're, there's not a time scale with that, but right. they're going to receive interest on the money that they lend us. Right. I mean, I was trying to work that out. I mean, it's, and it's people, oh, you can't do that. But it's not a massive amount, is it? Because if well, it's a million pound at three percent, that's thirty grand a year, isn't it? Well, Am I right there? Yeah. Uh, and that's less than a wage for some of the, you know. Well, it, it's actually. Th- I think we were talking to Alden Simon before. Mm. They've just they've made nine hundred thousand off that cut run. Yeah, I don't sound that. Yeah. You know, yeah. so we only need a bit yeah. of a cut if we can get yeah. a cut run. I mean, we can't have any more bad luck than we've had this no. season. Surely it's going to change. Well, you're turning them away today. Have you, have oh, what do you make of that one? Don't. Oh, that's another problem. That you know, it's um, you, you're fighting everybody. When you're down, <laughs> you know, you're, you're down, and um, it's just been like I say, our luck's got to change. Next season, let's hope we can get a cut run. Mm-hmm. You know, and. Uh, 
you don't know, do you? You've had no luck in terms of lots of things, but do you think it's a certain amount of self-inflicted by paying wages greater than the club could actually afford? I mean, Kevin described it months ago as running it like a lot, waiting for a lottery win. I can't come on that because it, these some of these mm. wages have been in place. From, That's what I'm getting for, yeah. yeah. Oh, there were a lot, a lot of this before your time, didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and look, people make decisions. Mm. They don't make them feel hardly. They make mm. them with the best interest in the club at heart. Everybody makes decisions. Mm. People don't make mistakes on purpose. And you've got to learn from them. So we've yeah. learned from it now. Yeah. We've learned from, from the, um, probably some of the decisions that have been made. And that's what we've got to put in place for next season, but the season paying, after, yeah. and the season after that. Um, still paying for them, aren't you, Dave, in some respects? Well, the wages are getting at. There's, there's, nine players under think, contract. there's only na there's nine players yeah. under contract for yeah. this season. So we'll just have to see where we go from there. I mean, have you set a budget for next year? Did you have to wait till this day, well, so to speak? We're working on the budget at the moment on, on the basis mm. of what we can afford and just see how it pans out. I, I got collared at half time and to, to a couple of ladies there saying, Why don't the club speak to? Why didn't it communicate when it came up with Forever Bury? Can they help together? Or is that a plan for the future again? Well, the Forever Bury are doing mm. I mean, they do yeah. help us and support us yeah. every year, but it's a big hole. Is it bigger than this? It's bigger than this. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, it's yeah. way bigger. It I mean, somebody said, can we get 100,000 people to mm. uh, pay £10? I think it's only, is it about 80,000, 90,000 people who live well, in Berry? Yeah, I've got to say, it's not that there. Uh, if you look at right, the, the whole borough, I think there's about 180, yeah. something like that. But yeah, we could get 100,000 people to 10, 10 quid in, we'd be delighted. Not going to happen, is it? No, not really. And, and unfortunately, the days of goodwill, are, you know, I think when Berry went to administration several years ago, there was a goodwill towards the club then, but now if so many clubs have done it, is less of a goodwill factor. Well, times are harder now, aren't they? Yeah, they? A lot you harder. know, a lot, economical times are harder, and, and and it's. I mean, somebody just pulled me now and said, you know, I'm on the, I'm not, I'm not working. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm season sick in the worried, yeah. you know. We're all worried, you know. Yeah. But uh, there's a, an absolute determination and fight mm -hmm. for to get to get over this, yeah. and, and I really feel that you know, if we, we can get over this hurdle then the club will come out a bit stronger. Is that still an if as opposed to a when, do you think? Well, <laughs> yeah. um, like I said, seven to ten days we'll have some real concrete information. What's your gut, fe what's your gut instinct? Well, my, my gut feeling is You've met these fellas, the ladies. We've met the people involved yeah. and uh, they're wanting to help. Yeah. They're genuinely wanting to help. But they want to see that the club can, can do it. Can do it. Yeah, and makes we're, sense. we're just putting figures together, we're putting cash flow projections together. And if we can get the cash flow projections correct, yeah. then there'll be some positive input. Right. Nobody wants to see this club going. No, no, oh, Christ, no. <laughs> you know, nobody admin, wants to see it going. No. I mean, people could talk about admin, but admin's not even—it's not even on the agenda because it would just be—it wouldn't happen. Wouldn't work. We've got to pay for administrator, haven't you, for a start? Yeah, so that'll so cost me, that, that'll be about two hundred yeah. grand. Yeah, that's exactly where that's coming from for a start. Correct. And then we're going to have ten points deducted from the beginning. Well, we, we don't know because yeah. we've been admin before. The rules have changed since we were in it. Um, we didn't get any lots of points when we were in no, yeah, I think you go in and go out when you come back out as well. Well, you've it? got it's so cool. if you if you like, they would do, take the points from the beginning of the season yeah. and then they deduct them if you come out. Yeah. So you're 20 points out of next season, so you've got to go and have to get 70 points yeah, just to stay in. It's yeah. it's it's making it worse and worse and yeah, worse. Absolutely. So we, we're trying to do the funding ourselves to avoid that happening. How, how important to you now is communication with, with everybody? Well, um, we, we try and improve that. Obviously, you know, um, we've been criticised for that and it's a valuable argument. We're actually having a, we're trying to organise a meeting next week with yeah. the supporters to keep them informed. Um, and, and that's what we're going to try and do for the rest of, you know, the, rest of, the, of the time. We're fighting, we're really battling to get mm. to make it survive. We're organising things, we're, we're organising a dinner, we've got a dinner in, ju in June organised. You know, you just got to keep it going. Yeah. But out there, people haven't got the money that they had no. pre pre two thousand and eight, uh, and it's difficult to get them to come. Every every charity are looking for money, aren't they? Cancer yeah. research, and exactly. you know, it, it's going. just very difficult. Yeah. And we've got a hardcore of two, what two thousand yeah. fans, just over two thousand. Yeah. I don't know what the gate was today. Four four, I think four, it was. Four, 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 five, four five. Four, yeah. five. Yeah. yeah. But just, just in five four to the side as well. Yeah, by the way. I was <laughs> going to say. I mean, what, what actually did happen with the, with the fans that were locked out? I mean, there's talk. About I, like I've hands. only heard it well, third hand. I think there was. Um, it was a. I, I don't know really. I can't comment because I've not got yeah. the full facts yet. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is, um, was there any inclination that there would be that many? No. Uh, well, I mean, fans? so we're down if we do. We're down if we don't. <laughs> if, we, if we're developing both ends and then only a thousand turn up, I mean, we're supposed to be getting three thousand when Sheffield United came. Mm. How many did they bring? Nine hundred.
you, you know, you just don't know until they turn up at our cases. Yeah. You know, they hadn't sold that many seats, I don't think. Tickets, I don't think. Are you under More, Maybe less than that. Yeah. So it was yeah, a no, basically really. the tickets on the day they were Well, they, they, they sold 900 tickets, then suddenly 1,200, uh, yeah. 2,000 yeah. turned up. Well, you know, you can't legislate for well, that. Well, whilst that happened, was there anything to stop the police just opening one of the many sections that were pretty much empty? Um, we, it, it was, it was suggested, it, yeah. uh, but it didn't happen. Do you know why? A lot of it's to do with, they were concerned about uh, safety issues. Right, but obviously when Oldham score, Oldham fans go up in the main stand and it kicks off. Uh, that can't be the right decision, can it? Well, I, I can't really. I don't, you know, I can't come out. I, you know, it's it's difficult. I mean, I don't want to criticise anybody from that point of view. You'll say you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. Um, just with regards to the people that you're actually talking to, um, with regards to the figures that you're talking about, is it comparable to to what you're asking for? I mean, how many people are you in discussions with? Let's just say that we are uh, we are moving towards the figure we're looking for. Okay. So close uh, enough well, to tide you over. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're moving towards that figure. Okay. There's been a genuine interest of people, but we've got to show them that we mm -hmm. can, even with that money, we can survive and we can mm -hmm. carry on. I suppose that the other question as well is that um, with the fact that the board that are here have obviously got into this, this trouble, this difficulty, is a concern that maybe the people that are investing obviously need to be able to trust that you can take the club forward. Um, yeah. Is that sort of something well, that you're having to prove to them? Well, you know, the, 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 they've got confidence in the board, mm -hmm. but clearly they need to be seen and they need to be shown information mm -hmm. on a regular basis to make sure that the parameters that are set have been adhered to, mm -hmm. just like any other business. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing. Okay. We're working on budgets, we're working on figures, and they will have to be adhered to. And will there be any kind of change of ownership or the change of the No, no, of the no, no change of ownership. No, okay. these people are not wanting to take the club over. Right. They're just wanting to help invest to make sure it survives. And a possible change of the board. I know that Brian, when he spoke to me, said he'd be happy to stand down tomorrow well, that, if, it, no, if they wanted what, that. What we had to do was, if anybody came along and said, look, we'd like to buy the club, mm -hmm. we had to make a board decision that if anybody wanted to come in, into the club and buy the club, and wanted us out of the way, mm -hmm. or wanted a fresh mm -hmm. board, then we were all in a position to be able to say, yeah, we, we've no problem with that. Okay. But, you know, that, that's, um, that goes without saying. Okay. Do you think, just last one for me, do you think Kevin's a man, to bring his back, he's never experienced relegation, as I'm sure he's just about to tell us now, but... Ke of course he is, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, you know, Kevin's not been here from the start. Yeah. You know, I, I'd like to see, and I'm sure Kevin, if he's given a, a, a fresh start yeah. with his own players, you know, mm -hmm. None of this is, is Kevin Powell's yeah. fault. I mean, he's come here and he's had he's had ankles tied to him. Yeah. Hasn't he? Yeah. He hasn't, you know, yeah. I think I said two a couple of days ago. Yeah. Was it three players we've got from today that we played against? Old? I think it was four. Yeah, but yeah, that's four? the point, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you look that's at the, the point. I mean, yeah. And one of those was use it, and he's hardly played for months. So he's, he's been injured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. four players out. Yeah. Of, you know, it's uh, from November. You, yeah, you saw that kid today from put Peterborough yeah. out. He really socks off, oh. didn't he? Unbelievable. Yeah. Eighteen-year-old. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic.